Three seemingly simple words have caused so much damage to this economy. Bachelor's degree required. There are close to 10 million open jobs in America, but almost half the jobs listed have this stamped requirement, whether it's necessary or not. It's an issue that Byron Agiste calls the paper ceiling. A paper ceiling is a metaphor for something that is keeping people from rising. Degree discrimination is not illegal, but it's keeping millions of people from jobs employers need to fill. I spoke with Byron to learn how his nonprofit is leading a nationwide grassroots movement to drop unnecessary degree requirements. But I also interviewed employers because I wanted to learn how this issue may have set the economy on a dangerous course. Every manufacturing company is really facing a massive talent shortage. And because of that, the future sustainability of their businesses could be at hand. There is so much talent to unlock in this country. The starting point is to tear the paper ceiling. This is Stand Together Presents. Stories, ideas, and advice from changemakers tackling our biggest challenges. I did attend a college. Just kind of going through schooling, I just felt almost lost in a way. I just kind of realized this isn't what's meant for me, and I kind of wanted to free my own path, so. This is Wendell. He left college after only a year, but then he learned how challenging it is to find employment without a degree. When people hear that you dropped out of college, they automatically have a stigma. You can't handle hard work or things like that, when that's just not the case at all. Byron says stories like Wendell's point to a bigger problem for companies who are searching for talent. In the last 20 years, about 70% of emerging jobs say you need a bachelor's degree. But only 40% of Americans have a bachelor's degree. To say you need a medical degree to do surgery, that's common sense. But to say you need a bachelor's degree of any kind to be a salesperson, to be a manager, to be an IT support specialist, it makes no sense. It's keeping millions of people from jobs that employers need to fill. You graduated from two Ivy League schools. Why is this issue so important to you? I came to this problem through the work I was doing in the private sector, in the White House. But as I started to think about it, my father was an incredible example of this solution. This was 1971, and we were in Detroit. He was working in a factory. He saw one day in the newspaper an ad that said, learn COBOL and punch your own ticket. It was a new computer language. Now, my dad didn't learn COBOL on his own because what he saw was an opportunity to be trained. So his father succeeded through on-the-job training, the crucial opportunity for many workers to gain the skills employers really need. He's entitled to this diploma. He earned it. And it actually did give him a shot. It was enough to get him a chance to show what he could do. And that's when our family started to move into the American middle class. So Byron says people like his father are exactly what today's company should really be looking for. People with talent and the drive to learn on the job. But at this point, you might be asking, if companies aren't sorting applicants by college degree, how can they tell if someone is qualified to do the job? So at a human level, it's really important to describe people by the skills and attributes that they have, not by the degrees that they lack. STARS means skilled through alternative routes. STARS. There are 70 million Americans working today who are STARS. STARS got their skills from military service, community college, from workforce training programs. Most of all, STARS gain skills on the job by doing the work they're doing. Why is it so important? Because once you understand STARS as a talent category, then you can have data around that talent category. Byron's nonprofit Opportunity at Work has created a platform that helps companies understand what skills applicants can provide to fill their talent needs. They can click into any place in the country they want to hire and see what's the talent pool available with this skill set. This is not a problem we can solve by accident. It's a problem that we need to solve together and on purpose. In the last year, Byron's campaign has gotten national attention, and over 65 large employers have joined the movement and changed their hiring practices. One of these companies is Train Technologies that employs over 25,000 workers across the U.S. I spoke with Betsy from Train to learn more about their workforce needs and what solutions they're using. What are the challenges when it comes to acquiring talent for the future? Um, the technician landscape in the United States it had over 38,000 openings last year alone. 
Train is competing with other businesses for talent, which means having a strategy that targets stars is crucial. A skills forward strategy is really making sure that we look at the whole person rather than a credential that's on paper. Because the rest of the skills necessary, we're going to give you. We're going to train on the job as part of our apprenticeship program that we provide to our technicians. I spoke with Scott Thompson, one of Train's long-term employees who started without a four-year degree. Some of our younger technicians, when they come in, really don't have any sense of direction. They're looking for just the job. Coming through this program, I think it gives them a sense of belonging. They're being given opportunities for an entire career. What does it feel like knowing that you've been able to step out and carve your own path? But it was good that I got some kind of structure to at least climb that ladder and get through the apprentice part of my job and kind of graduate to becoming a full technician. Hiring stars, it gives us the talent we need with the skills we need to deliver for our customers and for the company. In the first year of the campaign to tear the paper ceiling, Byron's coalition has created almost 30,000 additional jobs without degree requirements. But Byron says there's much more work to be done. Right now, we have about 65 partners in the Tear the Paper Ceiling Coalition, and that's growing week by week. In the next decade, opportunity work in our partners will enable a million stars to gain better jobs through the networks and the tools that we've set up. Those stars will be earning $20 billion more a year than they otherwise would. I think it's definitely important for people to, to do what they, what they like to do. If you're doing something that you like, you're, now, you're never going to get tired of it, you're never going to get bored. Work is very meaningful to people. It's one of the main places where you find out what you're great at. These are incredibly valuable and valued parts of the human experience. Once employers understand that there are 70 million Americans with skills without degrees, then suddenly there's a whole world of possibilities for how we can solve the problems of the labor market. Stand together partners with changemakers tackling our biggest challenges. To see more stories, follow our channels. And to learn more about how you can partner with us, go to standtogether.org.